Every golf club is designed differently. You might have the same loft on them, such as this two hybrid and this five wood, but they're designed very differently. They're gonna fly differently. We're gonna show you that today in this video. Hey golfers, Drew Mahold and Thomas Campbell here from Second Swing Golf. We are outside today at the driving range here at Les Bolstad Golf Course. Today we've got a fun and interesting kind of comparison here to use TrackMan for. I've got a G410 2 hybrid and he's got a G410 5 wood. Uh, both club, well my hybrid here is 17 degrees aloft, that's 17 and a half degrees aloft, so pretty similar in the loft, but we're anticipating that the ball flights are going to be very different and essentially this will be a lesson on the center of gravity today and how that impacts golf shots. So Thomas, um, I know you've been fitting customers into kind of maybe both of these, maybe not as many two hybrids, not much of a popular option out there, but five woods for sure are becoming popular more and more. Um, they're roughly the same loft, but how do you think this is going to be different? Yeah, I mean, you mentioned fitting either a two hybrid or a five wood. It depends on the player, it depends whether that player spins the ball too much mm -hmm. or needs spin. So yeah. there'll be a difference there. And also visually too, whatever club looks better to them at sure. address too. Some people don't like the fairy woods that have got a whole bunch of loft on them. Maybe they should consider it, yeah. but uh, they, they visually they, uh, they think that too much loft on a fairy wood is a little, just looks a little too funky for them at address. Yeah. The two hybrid is gonna sit look, I mean for me, I like the look of a two hybrid better because it's a smaller club head. Yeah. But they will perform differently with regards to launch angle, with regards to spin, and the height the ball will fly at. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see the differences here. We've done a little bit of testing before, kind of comparing fairy woods, comparing hybrids. Um, so this one's kind of, it's almost apples to apples in terms of loft, just a half a degree difference, but I anticipate some big differences in some of these metrics. So, uh, you ready to hit some shots, Thomas? Let's do it. All right, well, Thomas, that was the five wood. That was uh, five shots there. Um, now, just looking at the numbers quickly, just over 4,000 spin, carrying it nearly 250 yards. Um, is that what you maybe would have expected there? Yeah, I was expecting to go a little bit shorter than what I'd normally hit my fairy wood because of the spin. So 4,000 spin, that is kind of, that's a lot of spin for a fairy wood for me. Mm -hmm. okay. But it was really easy to hit off the ground. Yeah, I mean, your dispersion, by the way, was pretty darn good. You had three that were kind of right down the center. Um, maybe a couple off to the right a little bit, but that's kind of getting picky. And then, so total distance, you're just shy of 260. Um, club speed is 103.5, ball speed 155.1. So um, pretty good numbers there for a five wood, of course. Uh, but now the fun part begins here, comparing it to a two hybrid, um, which is, you know, just hybrid form over that club. You know, shorter shaft, but then a little bit less loft, tiny bit, half a degree. Yeah, my guess is it's gonna probably fly a little bit lower and have less spin on it. What was my actual height? and mm, landing height. angle with the five wood. Height was 135.7 feet and landing angle 48.8. .8. So I'm imagining both of those will be lower with the hybrid. I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hit the two hybrid. Well, you got two options with this club. The high balloon that links right or the, the low rope hook. Yeah, I mean, my dispersion pattern, even three shots in, it's, it's gonna be hard to beat the, the five wood. Oh, I know. Yeah. That five wood dispersion was pretty, pretty good. Yeah. All right, so Thomas, that was the two hybrid there. You kind of, you know, you're, you sort of got your dispersion, you got kind of got three a little bit left, you got and then two, you kind of maybe hit low on the face, so they kind of ballooned right a little bit, but we do have some good numbers here to look at here, and clearly there's a difference, clearly there's a difference. There was a difference of about 600 RPM in spin, so like you, like you kind of thought, lower spin with the two hybrid, and then we can also go to height, and we're talking about almost 30 feet of height in difference as well, so, um, I mean, I mean, clearly, and you also saw a difference in the flight and also felt a difference in the performance, too. Yeah, I mean, I had two shots there where I got a little bit low on the face and left the face a little, a little bit open. So they, they spun around about 4,000 RPMs. Mm -hmm. While the other three that I kind of turned over a little bit more, they were spinning 
essentially 2700 to about 3500 RPM spin. So there was definitely less spin with the two hybrid than with the five wood. Mm -hmm. I also had a hard time hitting this thing straight. Yeah. I actually had a hard time and I just couldn't control it very well. So something to be said, I know it's a small sample size, it's only five shots with each club, but I guarantee if I was gonna hit 50 shots with each club, that dispersion pattern would be tighter with the five wood than with the two hybrid. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you, you talked about how easy, I mean, high loft to fairy woods, you know, for you, they used to be a little maybe too fast for those in terms of controlling the spin and whatnot, but in terms of hitting the ball straight, those things are as easy as, you know, way easier than your longer iron or your lower lofted hybrid. And the map shows it here. This is a smaller sample size, of course, but your five wood, you have basically three right on the center line. And then with the with the hybrid, you got kind of three left and two right there. So, uh, but like you said, I mean, that's about how the club's built. And so, you know, the, with the, the, the five wood, you know, that, that center gravity's back a little bit, the club face is a little bit larger. So you got kind of more surface area to work with, to make contact with. Hybrid is, I mean, it's certainly a forgiving club, right? Especially a G410 hybrid is forgiving, but comparing it to a high lofted fairy wood, it's gonna be that lower spinning and maybe not as forgiving, right? Yeah, it was, like I said, the five wood just, it felt so easy to hit. The two hybrid, I, I hit it well. I think you'll notice that my efficiency number was pretty good. I think the last one was like yeah. 150. So it's not like yeah. I didn't hit it well. It's just, it was harder for me to control the club face with it. Mm -hmm. Just seemed harder. I don't play a two hybrid or a three hybrid. I actually play a utility drive and iron instead because yeah. I feel like I can hit that thing a little bit straighter too. But yeah. the five wood, it's, uh, it's impressive. I wish I could fit more people into higher lofted fairy woods. I'm working on it. People still want to, you know, at first they're like, yeah, I don't know how I feel, I feel about that five wood or yeah. that seven wood. Just let the club do its job. Don't even look and see what club, what loft is on that club and really just give it a chance because yeah. it's going to be more forgiving and a little easier to hit. I think the word we're dancing around a little bit here is ego. I think uh, golfers like their egos and they don't want to be playing a five wood, seven wood or nine wood because, um, you know, that's not the cool thing to do per se. So they opt for the hybrid, they opt for utility iron, and maybe they shouldn't be. And so this is just an example of the differences that um, you, know, you can see. And now for you, somebody that has the speed, that has the ability to launch the ball, a two hybrid could be a club that you could play. And even you've said yourself though, that it can be hard to control. Um, but most of the time, golfers are going to uh, perform much better, hit the ball straighter, hit the ball higher, um, and perform better overall with a five wood or seven wood versus maybe a two or three hybrid. Yeah, and even like a, a long iron, we didn't. If we were going to compare a long iron here too, yeah. the level of forgiveness would drop with that too. And you talk about ego. I know a lot of guys want to play that three iron, that four iron, or that five iron, even though I don't have enough club speed to, or, or height to play that particular club, yeah. or consistency to play that particular club. Loft is your friend, and forgiveness. The way these clubs are designed, it definitely is going to help a player to improve their forgiveness and improve those miss hits, essentially. Yeah, so I mean, we should know. I mean, the two hybrid actually went further. Um, it carried two yards further. Total distance was about eight or nine yards further. But the way it got there between these two clubs was very different, and that's the entire point here. And so in a fitting, of course, our fitters will go through that with golfers. If they get fit for, you know, whether it's a hybrid, whether it's a high-lofted fairy wood. But that all-important gap between kind of maybe it's a three-wood in your bag and then maybe your longest iron. It's uh, one of those most common questions that come up in a fitting um, and one of the most common fittings that our team does. And so this is just another example of why maybe a high lofted fairy wood is right for those players that do need to get some little bit extra help lifting the ball into the air, a little bit more height. Uh, and so this was this is pretty good stuff here, Thomas, because I know this isn't maybe a common dilemma where it's two hybrid versus five wood, but the general dilemma of hybrid, high lofted fairy wood, iron, it's a very common one golfers deal with. Yeah, I'm just consider it. Just End of the day, if it's going to give you better results, kind of let your ego kind of get out of the way a little bit and just all of a sudden just trust the club that your club fitter is fitting you into.